future in the Toronto basketball scene? You know, you've kind of seen it grown over the last couple of years. Can you give us like a quick take on like how you feel as like being quote unquote like maybe the influencer and just seeing the game grow beyond its borders? I'm in Toronto basketball scene a lot longer than a couple of years. When I was like nine years old, I came to Toronto, and there was um there was like a it was like a cult basketball scene. It's a small group of, of teams and a, and a couple of events throughout the summer, but it was very intense and tightly knit community. And you still see the descendants of that community today on the basketball scene. But for me, it's been cool to watch just because, you know, you can see with the maturation of the game in Toronto. Back in the day, we didn't have a lot of um, coaching, but you had a bunch of talent just because of the, you know, the emigration patterns of Southern Ontario. You had like, you had Europeans, you had West Indians, you had Africans. So you're getting a different uh, gene pool coming and playing the game. And then as the generations wore on, what you got were guys who had gone to small community colleges, guys who had gone to colleges, come back, and then started coaching. And then once you mix that gene pool with you know the best practices from American coaches, and guys coming back from stateside, then you know it's the perfect equation to create what is right now a boon for Toronto basketball. It's become one of the hotbeds for the entire planet when it comes to creating you know high-level basketball talent. Uh, what kind of changes have you seen in just like the systems that we've had in place uh, in Toronto to kind of nurture that talent and see it grow? Do you ever think we'll get to the place where we can have guys drafted to the pros coming straight from Canada, not having to go through like any of the prep systems in the, the prep schools in the States or having to go to a state school to get? Well, I think it's twofold. I think first off, I've seen the game change and I think the biggest change is coaching. I think, you know, well, the first change is when Pierre Trudeau opened the gates to the immigration of a lot of different um, countries that were part of the Canadian tapestry originally. And then when you look at once the coaching came back was the information that the kids had, because now they got these vast switch muscle fiber kids and all these Jamaican kids, West Indian kids, Trinidadian kids who can jump out the gym, but now they know how to play basketball, not just jump out the gym like it used to be. So it's a combination of both, but do I think there'll be ever a day where kids ready to go straight to the NBA from Canada? I'm not sure that's fair for the kid, because I mean, I think some of it's familiarity. If you've never seen half those guys play before, you're gonna be at a disadvantage when it comes time to playing in the pros. I think one of the advantages a lot of these kids have in the AAU scene is they've seen a lot of their competition. So I mean, I think, you know, with the prep school system, you're gonna get a lot of kids from Canada who are going to be more capable and ready to play at the next level. How do you feel about Kawhi coming to the Raptors? I love it, man. I think a lot of people are probably hurt because the Mars gone, but when you think about it, there's very few Kawhis out there. So you gotta take a chance when you get a chance. This is Akil Augustine, and you are watching ATV News.